Welcome to another episode in the U1 Explain series. Today I want to talk about Mama. No, not my mother, but the song Mama by Genesis, which was released in 1983. And specifically, I want to talk about the bridge. Let's do it. The song Mama has a certain significance to me. I don't know about you, but to me, Mama is a kind of a breaking point. This was as far as they could take their roots, their proggy roots and elements, uh, while going more mainstream. It is like, to me, like after this point there was only one way to go which was more mainstream and i don't blame them to go mainstream um they need to make a living right but to me they stopped being uh, musically interesting uh, after a while and this to me was the breaking point at this particular song i think mama is just a wonderful song i just love it uh and I want to talk a little bit about the composition and the production before I'm going to play through it and we talk more about the details of it. Now, Peter Gabriel released The Rhythm of the Heat in 1982 and Mama was released by Genesis one year later. And interestingly, uh, those two songs, they have similarities. Uh, it's not like Genesis copied anything or stole anything from Peter Gabriel. But it's more like a subtle little nod here and there. Uh, let's start with the atmosphere. Peter Gabriel, he is a master of creating mystical atmospheres. Well, strange jungle-like drums and, and patterns. And he has that rhythm of the heat. go and while Mama has more of a machine-like, robotic, but they create the similarities in in the in the strange atmosphere they create. Uh, now I won't hurt you, Mama, but it's getting so hard. The rhythm has my soul. Ah, that uh, sus four to the major. Both songs have that as a hook, which is interesting to me. It is like Genesis, like, whoa, this is cool. I don't know if they ever thought about that, but I thought about it like immediately, and I think many fans did. And I think that's interesting. Now, about this bridge, because the bridge is what I'm going to talk about, focus on today. Uh, this bridge is ingenious. And why do I think that? I'm going to play through it for you, so, so don't worry, I'm going to play through it. Uh, but I want to talk a little bit about the, the genius of this bridge. Uh, as I see it, Mama has two major parts. It has an A part, uh, I call that section A. Uh, which is the first verses and the first chorus, which is softer, it's laid back, uh, it's held back, it's more ballad, if you want to say that. And then they have the ending, which is like the crescendo, it's full blast, it's very aggressive with that gated drum sound, uh, which was new back then. And Phil Collins' vocals, which is just amazing. He just screams and it just sounds awesome. Uh, and how do we go from A to B, those two sections? Well, they introduced that bridge, which I'm going to play through and, and, and share with you. And I think it's just an amazingly well-written 
part because it takes you from A to B in the most intelligent way and still it's so beautiful. It's not hard. There are no strange harmonies or, or hard to grasp concepts. It's just beautiful and it builds right from that A section to that B section seamlessly in a way that, that when you're ready for the B section, you're like, yeah, it's, it's just an amazing feeling. So I think it's extremely well written. Now, I want to say something about the vocals, not only on Mama, but Phil Collins is an amazing singer. And sometimes he gets a bit overlooked or underrated as a singer because as soon as he opens his mouth and sings something, it sounds beautiful because the, the tone he creates is just sounds beautiful and it's natural. Yes, but he has practiced a lot. He has an amazing technique when he sings and when he sings this uh, mama, uh, I've heard it live and he does some really advanced things with his voice when he does that. But this bridge that I'm talking about, um, Phil Collins, he has short vocal cords. He's not a, a bass or a baritone singer. Uh, he has a natural higher pitched voice because his vocal cords are shorter. Uh, so when he sings this mama, he sings really high, uh, but he, he doesn't have to switch up uh, into what is called the mixed voice because he can stay in his chest voice and he can just like scream it. Uh, the last high part, he can scream that and it just sounds fantastic because he pushes his chest voice with a, a really good technique and he gets a bit of distortion and aggression in there and grit which i think is fantastic so if if i'm gonna do that or another singer with a more normal male register we have to switch up until up in our mix the mixed voice which sounds different uh so so there's that uh i find this part uh wonderful to sing i just love it uh the first note uh you have to lay back you have it's it's really high for a normal male voice to those those first notes but you still have to hold back and sing them kind of softly without you cannot sing them in falsetto you had just have to back off and then you have to release more and more the more the bridge go and then you have the full blast in the end and I'm just really happy that I can sing that uh, because I couldn't in my youth, uh, but I can now. And, and that is, to me, rewarding, to say the least. I have struggled a lot with my voice, but now I can sing this stuff, which is, to me, uh, fantastic. And I just love singing this. So I have the virtual keyboard on the screen uh, when I play through this, so you can see exactly what chords I'm playing. And you can also see me play the guitar, uh, so you see how, how I do that. Uh, and about the guitar, I changed up a little bit because I got a better feeling for playing it that way. And about the chords on the keyboard, I play what I hear. I don't read music that well, so uh, I just go but for what I'm, from what I hear. Uh, and if you feel that one or two notes are not right, just let me know. Uh, so here we go.
So that we have it, the fantastic bridge on the song Mama by Genesis. And as usual, if you like my content, please hit that like and subscribe button and all the bells and whistles and YouTube things. Uh, it means a lot to me. Thank you so much for watching.